four. <laughs> In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, intro slash main riff to Cat Scratch Fever by Ted Nugent. Uh, it starts out, and you've kind of got this um, double stop bend. So, what you're doing is you're bending the fourth fret of the G string, and you've got your pinky on the fifth fret of the B string. So, I'm using these two fingers to help me out with the bend, but this note is not bending. So the pinky note on the B string is just sitting still, and you've got, it's very country-ish. Um, you know, if you want to add a little bit of twang to your, you know, to your, uh, to your overall guitar playing, you can bend this note and then uh, bar across these two bottom strings, and you've got, but that's not what he's doing in the song. So in the song, you can go through and go, but practice that bend because you can use it in a lot of places. Um, now, moving on to the actual riff, you've got an A chord, um, so you're holding the two, the second fret with uh, the D string and the G string together, then you're going to move up to the fourth fret with your first finger like that also, and then you're going to, I use my second and third fingers for the fifth fret notes but it's still just on the, the D and G strings. And that way I can effectively uh, vibrato those. So. so I'm not worried about that mute in between yet. First, I just want to get. Do that a few times. Now, after you kind of get a handle on that and you play up to that point, you've got, then you've got the, the kind of walk up. So you're going to hit open E, third fret on the E string, fourth fret on the E string, and then an A power chord. So you've got and then you play the riff basically backwards. So you're going to slide from five and then to that A string. Now through a lot of this you're just going to insert one mute. So through a lot of the riff, you're just going to insert one muted um, A note. Then you've got your little bend. and then you go into the first part of it. So hopefully this helps you out and I will see you next time.